What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video, I want to show you how to update the firmware on your Flight Edge Evader 2 Pro so that you can use it on your Switch with full customized uh, control layouts and all that good stuff. Uh, so the normal way that we normally do this is by going into the Fly Digi Space um, application on PC. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So we're plugged in and we would go to this little icon in the top right. Well, let's go ahead and connect just to show you that it's connected. You want to click on the icon in the top right and go to firmware version and hit update. The problem is, and mine's updated now because I was able to do it, but the problem is, is when you would try and update from the app, I believe it can't find a connection to the server most of the time because what would happen for me is it would hang for like over an hour. I, I, I waited just to be sure because I didn't want to unplug it. And if I unplugged it during the middle of a firmware update, I didn't want it to break the controller or something like that. It's a real risk. Luckily, it didn't happen to me. Um, but to avoid that kind of um, situation, there's another method you could use to update your firmware that seems to work a lot more um, effectively and maybe more updated as more often than, than this one. Um, but basically, even if you don't use the controller on your phone, you can use your phone to um, update the firmware. So I'm going to record on my phone so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, record. Alright, so I'm recording. And uh, let's go ahead and connect the controller via Bluetooth. So I'm going to turn it on and hold the plus and start button. And you can see it's already connected. Once the controller is connected, we can go to Vader 2 Pro and click on Upgrade Gamepad. And you can see that it's currently at the latest version, but you can even click on view all versions and switch to an older version of the firmware if one isn't working for you. Or you could even switch back and forth to kind of reset any issues that you might have had. But I use the latest um, version of the firmware, which supports uh, switch editing. And then once you've updated the controller, you can plug it back into your PC and it'll work with all the new features. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the easier way to update the firmware on the Flight Digi Vader 2 Pro. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that sub button. 99% of you guys are not subscribed, so chances are you're not subscribed and I would love to have you as part of the sub base and chat with you more often. I make lots of cool videos here and would love to have you around. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? Then you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.